holidays nale ad nama gt holidays da south india's number one travel brand embrace the new era of learning 5d hello and welcome to galata plus in this video review episode we're going to be talking about kannur squad directed by robi vargis raj the film is a very satisfying police procedural that plays like a massive version of kutum shikshayum of course the film starts mamuti but then you already knew that masked men enter a house they commit a heinous crime and they escape now this is what a screenwriter would call the inciting incident of kannur squad but by this point the film has already been incited we have already seen josh played by mamuti and the rest of his squad working on another case we have already seen them pursue one set of criminals stumble on another crime and follow up clues this longish prelude helps us learn something about each member of the kannur squad and it also tells us how meticulous they are would the film have still worked without this prelude probably yes but it's nice to get two cases for the price of one movie and it's nicer to get a psychological profile of these policemen who say we are not just human beings we are cops they cannot they will not be swayed by emotion however valid that emotion is kannur squad directed by ruby vargis raj is a solid procedural as opposed to a great one like kuttam shikshayum but the writers mohammad shafi and roni david give us a master class on how to craft a star vehicle that pleases fans of the star while also not making him a superhero george needs another cop's help in order to break down a wall but he also gets his own mass moments the best of which involves a finger i'm like this is seriously good stuff these moments are in standalone bits though they are woven into the narrative even the reference to kalyana tenila is nicely done after all this tamil hit is hardly the first mamuti song that comes to mind in the context of a malayalam mamuti movie and the man is magnificent he expertly straddles the line between slow mo walks and intense showdowns with his seniors after the prelude we get the incident with the masked men the brutality is hard to watch especially when a father is dragged away like a corpse while another member of the family is being brutalized george's team is put on the case the chase takes them from kasargod to uttar pradesh and beyond but because they are not of a particular pay grade flights cannot be sanctioned for their travel it's a beautiful screenwriting touch that tells us a couple of things one a police have to battle many odds imagine having to spend days on the road driving when the criminals are getting farther and farther away no wonder george tells his team that he has spent more time with them in his van than at home with his family who is his family though while the other cops are fleshed out with mothers and daughters George's personal life remains a mystery it works what also works is that none of these cops is seen with family the interaction with family is always through a phone call or some such thing these cops are only seen with respect to each other the sharp sense of isolation helps greatly to desentimentalize the narrative anyway let's return to the second thing about the lack of flight permission the road trip allows the writers to put these cops in the middle of constant danger like in a superb action stretch in a north indian village that keeps going on and on even when you think it's all over this is a third pay off to the lack of flight permission jan played by an excellent rory david has been accused of accepting a bribe and when he says that they can pool in money for flights even if the supervisors don't sanction anything it comes to be seen as proof that he did accept the bribe for selfish reasons another cop loses no time in pointing this out there's a reason jayan did what he did there is a reason the masked men did what they did kannur squad shows us that good thoughtful writing can exist in hero centric mainstream filmmaking and also that small human touches aren't out of place in such a movie kishor plays a senior officer whose decency is so thoroughly established that a single explosion to george makes us feel his frustration it's almost like he's saying if i am doomed to be part of this heartless state machinery i might as well behave like a heartless robot the bits where the police are praised don't come off as simple heartstring tugging at the end of this they feel earned mamuti may be the star but like the police kannur squad is pure teamwork every single department pitches in and the result is thoroughly satisfying 
That's it about Kannur Squad. If you like this video review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. Holidays Nale, Adinama GT Holidays Ta, South India's number one travel brand. New way learning through 50.